homeschooling in the pines. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another instant pot recipe for you all. Again, it's a really simple meal. I love sharing with you all simple meals because I know there's a lot of busy moms out there that need to uh, learn how to make things that are fast and yummy. Okay, so what are we gonna be making today is pulled pork in the Instant Pot, okay? So what you need, I usually make my pulled pork with pork tenderloin. I buy, I buy a pack at Sam's that comes with two um, tenderloins. Actually, each pack comes with two small you know, tenderloins. So I'm gonna cook both of them. Uh, so you need that. You need your, a, your favorite barbecue sauce. I tried this um, sauce the other day. I think they have it at Kroger. We 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 have fries here, but you know Kroger and fries is the same thing. It's you know private selection. It's a Carolina inspired barbecue sauce, so it's a mustard based sauce, based sauce. And I'm gonna season it with some adobo. So sometimes I will put my own you know spices together and make my own little rub. But today I'm just gonna season it with some adobo, which is some you know all purpose you know seasoning and some water for the instant pot you can do this with chicken stock or beef stock or anything like that but i do not have any at the moment so i'm just going to do it with some regular water okay i'm going to do i'm just going to season the pork tenderloin with some adobo like i said you can use whatever seasoning you want they sell some pork uh rubs some barbecue pork rubs you can make your own with different spices but today I'm just gonna make this simple. My husband is out of town, so I'm going, I have, I've been going for simple meals this last couple days, okay? So this is seasoned. I'm gonna put this in the instant pot. And they're already defrosted, okay? And I think if they're a little bit frozen, it's okay, but mine are completely defrosted. I'm gonna put them in the instant pot, and I'm gonna put a cup of water, okay? Like I said, you can also use stock or uh, beef, beef stock or no, ch chicken stock, but I do not have any, so water will do. What I'm do, I'm gonna close the instant pot, and I'm gonna cook this on manual for about 40 minutes, okay? This is about how long it takes to cook, especially because it is a you know, tenderloin, it is not, not a very big piece of meat. This is the, I have only tried it with you know tenderloin, so I don't know how long it will take if I will make it with with a pot roast, you know, or anything with, with, with a roast or anything like that. But I like the pork in a tenderloin because it's one of the leanest meat kind of pork. So this is why I like the uh, pork tenderloin. Okay, so it's gonna come. I make sure that I close my valve is when it's on and it's gonna come to pressure in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay, so this is done cooking. I am going to open the valve and let the pressure and all the vapor come out. Okay, so all the pressure has been released. I am going to get this open and I'm going to shred it. Okay, I hope it's done. It should be done. Whoa. Okay, that looks perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take and just going to shred it. And when I'm done shredding, I'm going to put some good old barbecue sauce. Okay, so I am done shredding all the pork, which it took me a little while because I don't have any good utensils to shred. I do want to get those big claws that you have to shred meat. It's probably want to be one of my next buys. Thank God for editing. <laughs> so I have all the pork in here, and I'm just gonna add my, my um, barbecue sauce. So I have a Carolina inspired barbecue sauce, which is mustard based, and it's really yummy. And I'm just gonna put it in the pot and stir it to make sure it is all, and this is how you make um, pulled pork in an instant pot. If you can keep it in here all day and cook it all day if you have time, or you can um, cook it in an instant pot, like I said, for 40 minutes, and that is it if it's completely defrosted, especially if it's a uh, tenderloin, okay? If the meat is a little bit bigger, those bigger you know, pieces of meat is just a, 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 a loin, which is bigger, or a roast, it's probably gonna take closer to an hour, because it is you know thicker but for a tenderloin pork tenderloin it takes 40 minutes okay so this is done we're gonna eat this on buns with some good old fries and ketchup and it's gonna be a yummy meal that i'm gonna have a couple days especially since my husband is out of town i'll have this to eat for the next you know couple days for lunch and for dinner for myself and the kids okay so i hope you like this recipe like this is simple i know most of you know how to do 
pulled pork, but this is an easier way that you can do in an instant pot. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you're a new viewer to subscribe to my, ch to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I love to make videos about homeschooling and cooking in an instant pot, okay? I will see you all soon. Bye.